everybody. This is a video on area and perimeter. Area is going to take up a little more time in the video because it's a little more complex to understand. However, we're going to get there. We're going to get through it. Um, now, for area, area is basically the inside measurement of a shape. Okay, and in fourth grade, we're just doing rectangles and squares. We're not going into more detail than that. So with rectangles and squares, we're thinking of it as tiles. Okay, so hold on one second. Let's get set up. <clears throat> so with area and perimeter, you think of it as tiles, right? Square tiles. And each side is worth one, right? This side is worth one. This side is worth one. And... It's square, right? It's a square. <laughs> so this could be one anything. It could be one centimeter. It could be one meter. It could be one inch. It could be one yard. It could be one mile. It's one of any kind of measurement that you want it to be. So for our case today, we'll do centimeters. So this is one centimeter and this is one centimeter, right? So this is basically um, the start of what we're going into. So when you have area, you typically have yourself your rectangle, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide this rectangle into, horrible, <laughs> look at that line, it's so wonky. Anyway, I'm gonna divide this rectangle into my tiles, okay? So I split this down the middle and now I'm gonna do this. Oh, that's not perfect. Let's make it a little bit better. Okay, so there we go. Now I see that I have one, two on this side, and I'm saying it's centimeters, so I'm going to put two centimeters. Over here I see one, two, three, four all together when I line it up. Four centimeters. If this side is two centimeters, this side is also going to be two centimeters because it's a rectangle. If this side is four altogether, this is going to also be four centimeters. And we know that area equals length times width. However, a lot of times you don't see it written out like that. You see the A for area equals the L for length times W for width, okay? So let's erase this real quick. <clears throat> for this one, the area equals, remember we said length times width, so the length here is four centimeters, times the width is two centimeters. And for me, I'm not that great at my four times tables just yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip flop. Instead of doing four times two, I know my twos, they're friendly numbers. So I'm gonna do two times four. Two, four, six, eight. And I get area equals eight centimeters. Now, just to double check, check this out. How many blocks, how many tiles altogether are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tiles fill up the area of that rectangle. Okay, let's try another one. So you remember those tiles, they could be any measurement. They could be miles, centimeters, meters, feet, yards, whatever you want it to be. So I'm gonna do a new, um, I'm gonna do a new one. And this time I'm gonna divide a little bit differently. <clears throat> what do I see on this side? I see one, two, three, four, five on this side. Let's call it feet. How many on this side? One, two, three. It's also gonna be feet because that's what we're going by. If this side is five, how much is this side gonna be? You got it, also five. Five what? Five feet, because that's what I decided it's gonna be today. All right, if this side is three, what is this side gonna be? 
Yep, three. Three what? Three feet. So I remember area is length times width. Area equals what's my length? How long? Three feet. Times what's my width? Five. So I have area equals three feet times five feet. I am not proficient in my threes. Skip counting yet. So I'm going to do five times three instead of three times five. Five, ten, fifteen. Area equals fifteen. Just fifteen? Don't forget those feet. They count. Fifteen feet. All right. So let's double check. Are we right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Guess what? 15 tiles took up the inside area of my rectangle, and that's my answer, 15. All right, let's try another. This time, I'm not using the tiles, okay? We're gonna do it a little different. We're gonna have my rectangle. This side's four, this side's nine. Let's make it inches, okay? If this side is four, I already know that it's gonna be the same on this side. So this is also gonna be four. If this side is nine, I already know this side will also be nine. And I know area equals length times width. So area equals, what's my length? Nine, nine what? inches times what's my width? Four, four inches. Now, lucky me, I remember how to do my nines trick. It's nine times four, right? So I'm gonna put up my hands like I'm reading a book and I go from left to right, just like reading a book, and it's nine times four. So I'm gonna go four fingers, one, two, three, four. How many's on this side? Three. How many is on this side? One, two, three, four, five, six. Three and a six makes 36. So my answer is 36 inches. All right. Now, I don't have my tiles in there to double check, but I'm pretty good with my nines times tables, and I did this correctly. I did nine times four, and I got to 36. That's the answer. <clears throat> All right, let's try a more difficult one, okay? So say I have, let's make it a little more realistic here. I have 12 up here and 15 there, and I'm gonna say uh, yards, okay? If this side is 12, this side is also going to be 12. This side is 15, this side is also going to be 15. And I know that area equals length times width, okay? So, oh, this is tricky. I don't know my 12s, I don't know my 15s, and I don't think that's gonna be easy to skip count. So I have to come up with a different plan of attack. I just can't skip count that high. That's really hard to do. So what I'm gonna do is something called an area model. I'm gonna make little model right here. And the reason I'm dividing it in four is because there's one, two, one, two, right? So one, two, one, two, it's gonna make sense in a second. I take 15. And I think to myself, okay, 15 is really what? It's a 10 and a five. So I'm gonna put a 10 here, and I'm gonna put a five here. What about my 12? That's the other number, right? Because it's 15 times 12 is length times width. So what's a 12 really? A 12 is a 10 and a two. So guess what? A 10 and a two. So you, it's like you're multiplying. It's, it's a nice box for multiplication. So 10 times 10. 
10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So my answer goes right here, 100. Now I have 2 times 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. My answer goes in that box. 10 times 5. So 10 and a 5. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. My answer is going to go in this box. And then 2 times 5. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. <clears throat> what do I do with all these numbers now? I guess I'm going to add them up. That seems to make sense, right? 100, 50, 20, and a 10. I'm adding them up. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. Nothing. 0. 0 plus 5 is 5. 5 plus 2 more. 5, 6, 7. 7 plus 1 more. 7, 8. I get an 8. This one is going to drop down because there's nothing in between. My answer is area equals 180 what? We said yards. Nice. All right. Let's try one more for area and then we'll move on to perimeter. <clears throat> Let's try something hard. Okay. One hundred and fifty two times twenty twenty four. Okay, I'm gonna do that area model again. I know that it's three box by two, so I'm gonna do long enough for three and for two. So I'm gonna divide this so I have my two boxes. Now I'm gonna divide this so I have three. Okay. 152. It says it in its name. It's 100, it's 50, and it's 2. 152. So I'm going to put my 100 here. I'm going to put my 50 here. I'm going to put my 2 there. 24. It says it's in its name. 24. It's a 20 and a 4. So here we go. 20 times 100. I could do 120 times, but that's a lot of work. So I'm going to ignore the zeros, and I'm going to just do 2 times 1. 2 times 1 is 2, because 1 is a mirror. And now I'm going to take those three zeros, and I'm going to put them back in. I got to 2,000. All right? Now I'm going to do 4 times 100. I could do... 104 times on my hands, that's pretty easy. 100, 200, 300, 400. Or I could have also ignored those two zeros and did four times one is four and added the two zeros on. That's a cool math trick. All right, now I have 20 times 50. That's hard, so I'm going to drop those zeros. I'm going to just do two, two times five. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I got ten. But guess what? I have to put those two zeros back on. There you go. All right, now I have 4 times 50. Again, I'm using that math trick. I'm dropping that zero. I'm going to do 4 times 5. Four, uh, I'm not good at my 4s. I'm going to do the easy number. I'm going to do 5 times 4. 5, 10, 15, 20. So I got 20, but guess what? There's still a zero to tack back on. <clears throat> Now I have 20 times 2. I could drop that 0 and just do 2 times 2. 2, 4. But I have to remember to put the 0 back. And now finally I have 4 times 2. Or 2 times 4 because I'm using my friendly numbers. 2, 4, 6, 8. What do I do with all these numbers again? I know. I'm going to add them up. So I have 2,000 plus 1,000. I'm going to do the 400 next. I'm going to do the 200 next. I'm going to do the 40. Oh, I'm running out of room. I'm going to do the 8. I ran out of space, so let's rewrite it up. 
We used this already, so I'm going to rewrite it. I have 2,000, 1,000, 400, 200, 40, and an 8. And if you notice, my 8 is in the 1's column. My 40, the 4 is in the 10's because it's 4 bundles of 10. My 2 for the 200 and the 4 for the 400 are in the 100's column because there's 2 bundles of 100's and 4 bundles of 100's, right? So on and so forth. So all these zeros plus 8 is 8. All these zeros plus 4 is 4. 0, 0 plus 4 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 4, 5, 6. 2 plus 1 is 3. It drops down. There's no more place savers. This is my answer. My answer is area equals 3,648. And I didn't say what we were measuring. Hmm. Let's say miles. There you go. We're done. That was really hard, but using the area model made it a lot easier. Flip-flopping my <clears throat> multiplication facts to do easy numbers, friendly numbers, made it a lot easier. All right, let's try perimeter. So area is the inside measurement of a shape. Perimeter happens to be the distance around a shape. So it's a little bit easier to figure out. So here's my shape. And actually, earlier we did, um, the first one was two and four, and I think it was centimeters. And the same thing, if this side is two, this side is two. If this side is four, this side is four. And perimeter is distance around. You're going around the entire shape. So I have two, I have four, I have two again, and I have four again. Those are my numbers going around. What I'm doing is I'm adding these up, okay? And I can make this easy. I can put numbers together. So two plus four makes six. Another two plus four I know is going to make six. What's six plus six? 6 plus 6 is 12. So my perimeter, P for perimeter, equals 12. I added them all up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I was right. All right, let's try another one. <clears throat> so if we had, this is 3, this is 5, we'll say feet. If this is five, we know that this is five. If this is three, we know that this is three. And we know perimeter is the distance around, right? So I have five plus three plus five plus three. And I know 5 and 5 is a friendly number. It's a double, right? And that makes 10. 3 and 3 is another double, and that makes 6. And we know a 10 and a 6 makes 16. So our perimeter equals 16. So that's perimeter and area in a nutshell. I hope that made sense to everybody. And I am going to upload some more videos today. Hopefully you'll see me later. Bye.